when someone asks you a question and you don't know the answer, it's okay. It's okay to say, I don't know. Now, if the other person is being an asshole and goes, why don't you know? Then they have the issue, you know, not you. You told the truth, you know, you didn't know the answer and you said you don't know. It's okay. Now, what I don't like is when you ask someone a question and they don't answer you. First off, you know that they hear you. You know, or they give you a stupid question. They give you a stupid answer. And it's just like, okay, you know what? Fuck you, man. Okay. This happened twice at work. Now, I'm not going to uh, disclose the name of the place I work at, nor these people. One of them, I don't even know the name anyway. This actually happened recently, though. I was uh, getting into work one day, and I was walking behind this woman. We were going the same uh, through the same hallways and every every way. And she walks up to the bulletin board, and I noticed that there is a new piece of paper that wasn't there. Now she's in front, you know. She has she's practically holding up the whole board. And uh, I simply had asked, what's it say, you know? I'm basically expecting an answer like, uh, what does what say, you know? What are you talking about? Or, you know, oh, it's talking about this, this, and this. This woman straight up just looks at me, doesn't say any, anything. But I know she knows I'm talking to her because she responded by just looking at me. And at first I thought, you know, okay, maybe she doesn't know what I'm talking about. I said, the paper, what does it say? She just looks back and looks at me. And I'm like, okay, you know what? This is going nowhere, you know, you stupid. So uh, I go up to the to the paper and the basic the paper saying, oh, there's open positions for uh, different departments. You know, if you want to apply, then go on, go on here and check it out. That woman could have easily had said something. You know, easily has said something, but she just looked like, what? what? You obviously know what I'm talking about. You could have just said something. You know, I, I, I really hate that. I'm sorry. I know it's petty, you know, but there's an answer. If she would have said, oh, I don't know, or, oh, something like this, let's talk about jobs, I would have been okay. But the fact that you looked at me, and I know you've heard me, and I know you know what I'm talking about, and you're not saying anything... Then you're obviously really stupid. I mean, I, you know. And no, this person, she wasn't deaf because she heard me. And obviously she's not mute. If she was, then she could have, you know, done some form of communication. But she knew what she, she was, but she wasn't like that. She was average. Completely average. No disabilities whatsoever. Nothing. No impairments whatsoever. Nothing. Clearly this woman was obviously... <sighs> wasn't all there. And then the same day... Oh my god. So... I needed a screwdriver because I needed to tighten a loose screw. So, the only place that had a screwdriver that I knew right off the bat was uh, another department. Because it's a huge floor and, like, each line is its own thing. So, I'm not going to say what it is. So, I went up to the, the to the line that had it. And I went up to the person. I went up to the screwdriver. Now, mind you, the screwdriver was in front of someone. Now, because that screwdriver belongs to that line, I ask. I will always ask. And I had simply asked the person that was in front of it, I asked a simple question, hey, can I use your screwdriver? And they were like, uh, what? And I said, because oh, I thought they didn't hear me, I said, can I use your screwdriver? And they were like, uh, uh, I don't know. Like, And here I'm like thinking, what do you mean you don't know? Can I use it can I, or can I not? It's a simple yes or no question. If they would have said, um, I don't know, I don't see why not, 
However, why don't you go ask so and so, the crew lead, and then see what she says? You know, that's different. But he does, he goes, Oh, I don't know, puts his hands like, Oh, I don't know. Like, it's a yes or no question. I'm like, Okay, I don't know what, obviously, you'd have got no sense of common sense whatsoever, you know. Jeez. So I asked the person next to me, and I said, May I use the screwdriver? And she went, Yep, go ahead. I don't see why not. Because they know I'm going to bring it back, you know. I was just like, that was a simple answer. Yes, you may. That's it. A simple yes or no answer. I mean, it's not like I was going to kill someone with it. Jeez. You know, I hate that. You know, like, it's okay to say, I don't know. I mean, I'm not going to be an asshole and go, why don't you know? Why don't you know? I mean, that's just wrong, you know. That's wrong. You know, I will never say that. You know, that's something my dad would do and that would irritate the fuck out of me. But I would never do that. Now, I've seen things where it's like the other way around. Where, like, you would ask a question and you get a response all right. Just not, uh, you know, in a mature way. You know, I remember I went up to someone and I simply asked a question at one of my previous jobs. And she was like, why does everyone keep asking me that? Blah, blah, blah. Here's the thing. If you're going to be like that whenever someone asks you a question, now mind you, I didn't know that I was like the fifth, sixth person to ask that same question. I don't know that. You know, if I knew that, I wouldn't have said anything, but I didn't know that. You know, if you're going to act like that because someone asks you a question, whether they're like the fifth or fourth person to ask you that or it's the same question, you don't need to act like that. If, it's, if that job is way too much for you and you're going to throw a hissy fit because of that, then you shouldn't be doing that job then. Simple as that. Because I can be an asshole and go, why don't you know? It's your job to know, right? You know, I could be that, but I choose not to. So if she would have said, hey, I don't know, or at this point, I can't really say, then that's different. I would have been okay with that. I was like, okay, uh, thank you. And then went back to what I was doing. Simple enough. I mean, if you're going to throw a hissy fit and it's your job to resolve a problem and to answer questions then obviously that job is not for you and you should be doing that. Simple as that, you know, because again, there are people who are going to be dicks and say, well, why don't you know? You're, that's your job to know, blah, blah, And it's true, people can do that, you know, so. If someone asks you a question and you don't know, or you feel like you don't have um, the correct answer, you can even say, um, to be quite honest, I don't know. Um, however, I do know. I do think that so and so may know. So ask them, or like you know, hey, have you looked in your procedure, or that manual, or whatever? And if they say yes, then I would be like, all right, well, then let let the crew lead know, or let the supervisor know, because I, you know, I don't have the answer. I don't know. That's it. Simple as that. Or you know what? I do know. But I don't know how to answer your question. I'm afraid I'm going to answer it wrong. So go ask them. So that's different. That's different. And if they throw a hissy fit, then they had the issue. Not you. But yeah, I just feel like people... Stupidity ain't a virus, but it sure is spreading like one. And if you can't simply ask a question or be like, Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Then obviously you... You need to work on your etiquette. Work on your etiquette.